Warm greetings, everyone, and welcome to this reading. So, like the title says, uh, this will be channel messages from Blial. Uh, there are three piles for you to choose from. Before I begin, I want to thank all of you, all of you who are watching my channel regularly, who have subscribed to my channel, and who are supporting my work, uh, motivating me, inspiring me, and sending your love, your good wishes. Believe me, it means so much to me. And I'm also sending you lots and lots of love, good wishes, good vibes, and blessings. We are together in this journey, and let's stay connected. Let's wish well for each other, and let's keep our minds and our heart clear. So, uh, like you can see, there are three piles for you to choose from. Take your own sweet time. There is no need to hurry. Okay, I'll introduce you to the piles. And the decks that I've used for this reading, for those who are interested, uh, the names uh, of the decks uh, are meant, uh, is mentioned in the descri description box. Uh, so check it out uh, at the end of the video. If you feel like choosing more than one pile, go ahead and do it because for some of you, I do feel that you'll be choosing more than one pile. I feel uh, some of you could be choosing pile one and two. I don't know why this message came to me, but it came. Uh, so for pile number one, I promised you people when I posted my last short video of a song uh, that I sang during my vacation that I will, I'm, I'm collecting some stones from the sea and I shall be using it for my reading. Uh, I'm using it for my reading because these stones that are immersed in water, uh, you know, they have the... Uh, energy of the water element and uh, I really like that kind of thing you know to use it it can be used for emotional balance for understanding your emotions for going deep for any kind of emotional work and for working with Leviathan uh, I find Leviathan's energy very deep penetrating but at the same time very peaceful he's the quiet types anyway we are talking about channel messages from Belial so let's get to it Pile number one, you have this stone over here. This stone with orange kind of color and pattern on it. Pile number two, you have this beautiful little round stone. Now, why stone? Because Belial being uh, the lord of earth, I really f like keep stones uh, that I collect on his altar because... It resonates with his energy. Yeah. For pile number three, I've got this little thin stone. So pause the video if you need more time to do the selection. I'll start with pile number one. Let's see what Bilal has to say to you. Warm greetings and welcome to this reading, dear pile number one. Let's see what all cards you've received. There is one card which is a guidance card. I'll be reading this towards the end. So let's see. The first card. Right away what I see is the dragonfly, which is really standing out. I don't know if you have been able to see, but I think it's clear in the cam. Uh... What I'm hearing is leave your mark. Leave your mark while you're here. I can see a figure here which is kind of like laughing in a good way. There's healing energy being sent to you. There's also psychic energy uh, or psychic downloads available to you. And there is also some kind of chakra cleansing or activation going on. Connect to Bilal through your heart chakra if you need uh, any kind of emotional cleansing 
or to better able to uh, keep your emotions under control or to manage your emotions. That's one message. The other is, this is a time to hold your horse. I don't know why he's saying this, but yeah, that's what he's saying. It's time to hold your horse. Take it slow. Calm down. Do not hurry anything up in your life. This is not the time to hurry. The cells in your body are multiplying. I don't know what this means. But he's just saying it. Maybe you can find some meaning in this. This is kind of like... Uh, you know, this reading, I feel it, is going to be for all the piles. This is going to be kind of like, more like he, he Bilial talking in puzzles or giving messages that you have to decode. But these messages are really significant for your life. I really felt pulled to do this reading. Uh, you're here to leave a mark. You're here to inspire people you you will be going places on earth as well as astral and spirit realms activate the power of your mind activate your psychic abilities they're waiting for you to be uncovered your higher self knows it all it's just time that you slow down your system, slow down your life a bit and pay attention to this ability lying inside you. Work on your third eye and crown chakra as well as your heart chakra. This is definitely a time of transformation and change as the dragonfly suggests. I can feel a very beautiful, you know, breeze of fresh energy coming, blowing in your direction. That is what I'm being led to say. I see dragonfly to be your spirit animal right now and is going to remain your spirit animal for most part of your life. The color green is very significant for you. We are more green be more, spend more time around nature, keep some plants near you. It'll be very good for your for rejuvenation, relaxation, and inspiration. Your mind can work wonders. That's the message I'm getting from him. And right now, it's the time to make wonders. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I sense a kind of flighty energy, flighty not in a sense of being, uh, you know, not non committal to your goals or to your relationships, not like that. Flighty means it's, it's kind of like a joyful energy, light-hearted energy, which is very good, breezy energy, I call it. That kind of energy is available to you right now. <laughs> some of you who are watching this reading, uh, some of you or maybe one or two of you, you're 34 years old and Bilal is saying you're not old enough. Do not worry. You can start all over again. I don't know why he's saying this. Your life is a project. Handle it and create it beautifully. By the end of your life, it should look like a masterpiece. <laughs> okay. Do some black light meditation. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Today, Blial is talking in a very different way. He's like, you know, I'm I'm going to say things to them. They're going to decode it themselves. It's more like it.
okay, this black light meditation is more like you sit in a dark room. It should be absolutely dark. You should not have any disturbances. Sit, at, sit in a comfortable position. Don't lie down, just sit. Wear black clothes, light a black candle, and a black candle should be the only light in the room. Of course, if you think you need time to do a meditation like this and you're not very comfortable, you're not comfortable with darkness, then give yourself time to maybe heal, or get comfortable with darkness. Uh, while in, in, in this room, you can chant Belial's N or you can just keep on repeating the name of Belial or Satan. Or if you work with any other demon, you can do that. Keep on repeating their name in your mind. You can, folk, you can visualize their sigil as well. And in the middle of the sigil of your chosen demon, there's a red colored door with a golden bolt. Unlock it, open it and go inside. You'll be taken through a dark tunnel. You'll be feeling peaceful. You'll be feel you can release all your whatever clutter is there in your mind, in your emotional body, all your emotional clutter or any anything unwanted, any feelings that are uncomfortable or hurtful. Uh, you can release it here in this corridor that you're walking through. After doing it, you'll reach another door, but the door won't be visible to you because it'll be black. The door will open itself and you enter. The darkness continues. In this darkness, see a light all around you. You are emanating this light. This light is, is your inner, inner strength, your inner power, your inner gifts. Hold on to this vision as the light spreads and lights up the entire dark room and the entire dark tunnel. Thank Bilial and Lucifer and come back from the same tunnel, from the same corridor. Unlock the red door once again. Come out, lock it. Don't look back after locking it. Come out of the sigil of your chosen demon and thank them. Do this meditation. This is suggested by Bilial. This is what the card led me to. Because going deep into the ocean is similar to going deep into the dark depths, you know? Discovery. You'll discover something. You'll discover your strengths, your power, your gifts. Hermit's light. You're supposed to walk your spiritual path as a hermit, as a lone practitioner, your path will be one of a lone practitioner. So keep on inspiring yourself. Yeah, another card of rest. I didn't even see the cards because, you know, when once I shuffle, I keep them down. I never see them unless I do my reading spontaneously. So this simple uh, sorry this symbol has some significance for you maybe you can click a picture and find out what the symbol uh, it's happening to me symbol means uh do remember to take rest from time to time do not forget uh emerald malachite these two are good stones for you you are a sensitive person you are an empath most of you uh do remember to go for energy cleansing and take proper rest and sleep. It is very important for you, especially right now, because you will be going through transformation and changes soon enough. Now, this is the last message, the guidance message. Let's see what's in here. Have you been shy about accepting overtures of friendship? Are you timid about starting a romantic relationship or rekindling an existing one? Make an effort to turn a reticent attitude into a more outgoing outlook. Embrace your personal power and be willing to connect. Recognize your magnificence and enjoy fulfilling interactions with others. This is overall 
the message that's coming to me is that if you're not romantically inclined right now or not thinking about your love life, if it is about your spiritual pursuits or your connection to a demon, maybe it could even be your connection to your demonic companion or your actual life spouse, whatever it is. This card is about the way you conduct your relationships, including your relationship with your own self. This is also a card for those who are seeking to connect with a particular demon or a couple of demons. Maybe you want to go for pacts. Maybe you want to start working with them or you want to start a, a, an intimate connection or maybe just a general connection. They are giving you a thumbs up. Go ahead. Belial is saying go ahead. Be more outgoing. Be more expressive. Be more interactive. It's going to help you in the long run. Okay? Don't stay timid. Don't keep things to yourself. At least not with the spirits. They're already able to hear you. And they're ready to help you. I am love. I love all that is deeply and fully. I'm grateful for romantic love in my life. I'm blessed with great friends, companions, and colleagues. I willingly share my love and my life with others. Some of you, I feel, do not have a companion and you, are, you want a companion. You want a beautiful romantic relationship with somebody. Uh, maybe even demonic companions or a companion. This is the time for you to go for it. If you have been thinking about it for long enough, go ahead, do it, go for it. And you can use affirmations and a positive mindset towards love and love relationships. Yeah, so... Uh, for some of you... Um, In your future, or right now, you're really thinking about love. Some of you are trying to suppress it. Maybe you loved somebody and you could not get together with that person. Or your love interest is not aware that you love them because you're not able to approach them. Uh, or you are in love with your ex. In case you're in love with your ex, you're being asked to either go talk to them about it because you people could be getting back together or just accept the fact that you do love them but then choose to move on and work on your life. Now, it depends upon what, which one out of these two is your situation. You would know the answer deep inside. You know it. The other group is for people who ha are in separation with their divine counterpart. For life circumstances, you people could not get together. Maybe you were planning to get, get together, to live together, or maybe even get married. Uh, you still love them deep inside. And they still love you. But... This was not the time for you people to be together. Nobody can talk about the future or what the future holds. But right now what is important is to, whether you are in talking terms or not, send loving energies to each other. Inspire each other. Be nice to each other. It's not necessary that the person you love the most or had feelings for should be with you. Yeah? But that doesn't mean that you'll get bitter on them or cold on them or reject your feelings. This is for one group. Another group. You know, you should really profess your love or get to know about your own inner feelings about love and relationships Specifically romantic love. Because you're really thinking about romantic love a lot. It's time to stop thinking and take actions. Even if it means grooming yourself, going out there, meeting people, making friends. A friend can turn into a romantic partner for very few of you. So... These are all the messages that Belial has for you. 
and he's wishing you good luck. I can I can see a thumbs up <laughs> for you, pal number one, and that's that's a good sign. For some of you, he's backing you. For some of you, he could even be your garden demon. Not for the entire lifetime, but for right now, because there is this import, important transformation at every level that is going to happen, that is going to take place, whether you want it or not, whether you know it or not. Thank you. Now, moving on to pile number two. Warm greetings and welcome to this reading, dear pile number two. Let's see what Bilial has got to say about you, your life. There will be a guidance card that I will be reading uh, towards the end of this reading. So the first card, the first card is about sharing. Uh, share the knowledge, the wisdom that you carry within yourself with others. Express your love and gratitude to the animate, to, to, the, to humans, animals, and spirits alike. In order for life to flow, in order for things to grow, you need to share. If you have more than enough, choose to share. This, is, this card is also talking about spending some time with like-minded people. If you do not have such people, maybe you can find them online. This is a time for sharing your ideas, your knowledge in a positive way with others. Because this is what will help you learn. Maybe you are not aware of certain things. Maybe it is connected to working with demons. And someone else who is walking the same path or similar path can help you, encourage you, motivate you with some information and knowledge. For some of you, the message that's coming from him is that you already know a lot. All you need to do is share. Also share your feelings and your knowledge and if you have received any gnosis with your own self. Do journaling, practice journaling. That is his suggestion to you. Then you've got this card. No, not this. First I'll read this one. Witch's wounds. Okay. Remedy, magical med 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 medicine, sacred heart, another day. For some of you, he's asking you, uh, because I'm really feeling this, you know, these arrows going into the heart, especially this one. I don't know why. Some of you, you're, you're being too hard on yourself. You're taking too many pressures. Life is kind of weighing you down. You being asked to just leave it all. Leave the noise. Be it your uh, familial bonds, relationships in your family or your loved ones, whatever it is, just leave thinking and pondering on relationships and communication problems or anything of that sort. Your focus right now should be your own well-being. Some of you are keeping things in your heart. If you're not able to talk to anybody I don't know. This is for some of you, especially those who work with Belial or ha have a connection with him. He's asking you to open up to him. He's saying that you can talk about what is bothering you. Don't put so much pressure on your heart. Few people have experienced heartbreak and stalemate situation in their love relationship and romantic connection you being asked to give yourself time to heal and 
practice meditation and relaxation techniques which will help you heal. Keep a healing stone under your pillow. And before going to bed, hold that crystal in the palm of your hand and pour out some positive affirmations connected to healing into that crystal. And then keep it under your pillow. Something like, My life is about to get beautiful. This just came to me right now. My heart is healing. Each day I'm loving myself a little bit more. I choose myself, my peace, my well-being. I love myself. I choose to love myself. I'm listening to what my body is saying. If I'm stressed, I accept it and do things to de-stress. Listening to soothing music is good for me. No to sad songs and sad thoughts. These are some of the messages that came to me. Strength. Be like the earth. Derive your strength from your own self. Nobody needs to fix you. Time, patience and acceptance is going to heal you. Take steps to do things that will make you feel good and relaxed. Make healthy choices in life, in food, in activities. Stay away from too much I'm not, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but stay away from too much Netflix, TV, internet. Pay attention to signs your body and your soul are giving you right now. They're speaking to you. And this is a guidance message, a bonus one. Are you in touch with your creative intelligence? Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? See, it's coming up. Fresh perspective. Use the symbols of geometry to help create pathways for developing the mental body. Take one step at a time. Yeah, important for your healing and your growth. Knowing that answers will be revealed to you as you work systematically and methodically. Mm, yeah, definitely. So the guidance that comes with it is, I'm also hearing that make your life colorful, do things, do activities that bring you in a more joyful state of mind and develop your mental body. I think many of you who have chosen this pile, you have gone through traumas, heartbreaks, anxiety, stress-related problems all your life. Or maybe you've suppressed it, suppressed your emotions and feelings. So right now it's time for you to start fresh, give time to healing, and create and develop your mental body. Also, you people are natural born intellectuals. So you're learning even while you're walking a spiritual path would be more mind focused rather than, you know, psychic abilities and stuff like that. It'll be more connected to your intelligence. I realize my fullest potential spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. I see the patterns in my life and follow the course toward higher knowledge. I approach life creatively by thinking outside the norm. Definitely, I, mean, I think you should pay attention to this. Think outside the box. Think outside the norm. A rainbow of light and positive energy expands my consciousness. Right now, you know, you should be like hungry for consuming more and more positive energy. 
Don't feed your mind anything that you do not want to believe in. Feed your mind only with positive, amazing thoughts. Even if stress is still there, it is not here to stay. You'll be able to alleviate your situation. So this is good news. Work on these points. You're doing well. Okay, you're fine. And whatever it is that is weighing you down right now or has weighed you down in the recent past is leaving your life. Take good care of yourself. Moving on to pile number three. Warm greetings and welcome to this reading pile number three. Let's see what Bilal has to say about you, about your life. There'll be a guidance message as well that will be reading towards the end. The first card, oh, this is a beautiful card. I immediately, uh, you know, when I saw these two birds, I immediately thought two of cups. You people, those who have selected pile number three, you have a special connection and relationship with King Blial. He can act like a parental figure to you, like a god and demon to you, like your patron, could even be very well be your patron. Some of you already know it. Some of you were not aware of this. I'm not saying that all of you have Blial as your patron, but he is like a parental, a garden kind of figure in your life. And he's asking you to seek him for any kind of help, any kind of work, any kind of uh, assistance that you need. Share your dreams. Share your dreams and don't be afraid to share your heart too. This is a very direct message. It's very straight to the point. It is from Bilial to you, pile number three. Till now, I have the other two piles. They did not have a direct connection to Bilial. You do have. The more you love, the bigger your heart gets and the more joy can flow through its chambers. Its chambers. Definitely many of you, uh, Bilial is like a father figure to you or wants to tell you that he is present and is available as a father figure to you. He's holding you close. <laughs> Many of you have been have had a very close relationship with him in your past lifetimes, or maybe even in other dimensions, you have been connected to him and other aspects of him. Amazing. This card is all about two of cups, all about a very loving relationship that you have. He feels kind and loving towards you, which is a very good sign. It's an amazing sign to have pile number three. If you didn't know this, if you needed a confirmation, here is the confirmation. Express your love, your respect, your gratitude, and seek assistance of Bilal because he is an important and a significant uh, teacher, guide, mentor, and companion in your life. Okay, if you're feeling low, uh, down, uh, not fine, scared, uh, hurt, whatever it is, if you're feeling anything negative like that, Belial wants to say that he's here for you. You're not alone. And that is a great sign to have, actually. Now, let's see what's the other card. Oh, my gosh. Just have a look at it. Drawing down the sun, I literally feel it's more like drawing down Belial. Belial is a solar deity. Wildfire, divine masculine, magnificence, witness. Some of you watching this reading right now are females or you are a male with a feminine, uh, with your divine feminine side more pronounced. I do not mean to say that you are of the third gender or any other gender, you are a man, if you are a man listening to this, but your feminine side is well-developed. Yeah? You're being asked to do uh, a drawing down ritual to Belial, to have direct communion with him. You can practice invocation and journaling with the assistance of Belial because he has got very important messages for you people. You're supposed to not only work with him, but walk with him. If you didn't know this, 
I'm telling you this. Bilal is telling you this right now. It's a wonderful, wonderful message to have. I'm, I'm actually, I want to say this. I want to congratulate you people. I'm happy for you because, because I do share a very intimate connection with him. And I value him and his assistance a lot. I have no shame in saying that he's one of the finest, one of the best demonic lords out there. He's absolutely stunningly amazing. Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> you are also stunningly amazing. Now, what I mean to say is that whatever is going on in your life or inside you, Belial is witness to it. He knows it. He understands it. He's observing you. He is wanting to work with you. He's wanting to teach you something specific on this path. Uh, use fire in your rituals like incense, candles, or fire in your rituals. The element of fire is important in your workings with Bilial. For very few of you, especially ladies, Bilial is appearing to you, not all of you, some of you, Bilial is appearing to you as the divine masculine. The divine masculine that you seek outside, you can find in Belial. You can confide in him. He will make you come to terms with your the best version of yourself, a stronger version of yourself. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to help you grow and ascend. Shadow treasures. Work with crystals, especially crystals related to earth. Okay? You can make offerings of crystals related to earth like smoky quartz, tiger's eye, uh, and other such stones and gemstones make an offering of them to Bilial. Uh, you can use uh, soil or earth uh, in your workings with Bilial. Uh, the element of earth and fire are coming out to be important for you. Of course, the element of earth and fire are connected to Bilial. So as such, they are important. But air and earth and fire, they are the elements of Belial. So there are gifts and treasures hidden from you right now. But the time has come to uncover them, including some of the gifts that you have within yourself. Now, what are those gifts? Belial can help you uncover them and work with them. And some of the gifts will be revealed to you once you start walking this path or take your learning further with Bilial. I can see that you are eligible to receive significant gnosis from Bilial and that is what is meant by shadow treasures. Okay, he has something to say to you. Visit the shadow land, the land of the shadows, where the shadows dwell. See them eye to eye. One of the shadow will be yours. Once you find that shadow, look at it eye to eye. Keep your hand on the heart of that shadow self and you'll be able to understand its language and all the secret communication will be coming to you itself. It'll be revelation. How to walk the path. How to walk in darkness successfully. And how to work with the dark energy. Without losing yourself. It is not a battle. It is a realization. You're moving in the right direction. Come to me. I'm waiting. Well... Okay. 
<laughs> okay, I started getting visions <laughs> of your journey and of your shadow and stuff like that. It was I was going into it. Anyway, this just this stone looks so good to me. I love it. It's so blalish, green and black and brown. I like it. Okay, have you been seeking balance in your life? Are you finding inner peace for your body, your mind, and your soul? Take the time to med meditate and focus on the center of your consciousness. Work on your heart chakra and your third eye chakra. Open to the realization that there is an underlying unity in all spiritual philosophies. Some of you have been thinking whether you should be working with demons, specifically Belial. Very few of you, but yes, you have been thinking like it. If you have been thinking like it, Belial is telling you that at the end of the day, no matter which spiritual philosophy you are following, no matter you're walking with angels or with demons or with tantric gods and goddesses or with gods and goddesses of other pantheon, self-realization is what you're going to get. Ascension is what you're going to get. Evolution is what you're going to get. So it doesn't matter. Don't think twice before walking with demons because you, you, you're meant to walk with them and specifically with me. This is what he's saying. And when you choose to start your work with Belial, remember to work with both his light, his night and his day side. Yeah, he has two sides to himself. The night side and the day side. The day side is the more solar side of Belial. And the night side is the more shadow aspect. Very dark, very deep, very alluring, but at the same time challenging. His energy is going to be intense. So you should practice some meditation so that you can ground yourself. I nourish my soul, my mind, and my body. I'm flexible and integrate yoga into my daily life. I enjoy a regular meditation practice. I receive understanding and wisdom from various cultures and philosophies. You're going to have a path, Belial is saying, which is like a mix and match, an eclectic kind of path of different uh, spiritual uh, traditions. A little bit of Buddhist, a little bit of Hindu, a little bit of Christian, a little bit of... Uh, Arabic, a little bit of demonic, a little bit of angelic, a little bit of fey, a little bit of maybe other uh, systems. You can blend it. That's what he's saying. That rather than working purely demonic uh, spirituality, you can mix and match it. It's going to work well for you. That is his message to you. And work on nourishing your body mind and spirit and seek to balance your body mind and spirit that is his message and yoga and meditation should be even if you can contribute only 10 minutes it should be a part of your daily life balance achieving balance or staying in a state of balance is important to you for your health well-being and walking any spiritual path that you choose that was it for you pile number three i wish you all the very best on your journey thank you thank you very much for watching this video thank you for your likes for your subscription and for being a part of ancient divine flames lots of love from adara bellamore